Masari CEO challenges SEC oversight in strongly worded draft letter. Shalini Nagarajan, last updated. July 8th to 24 at 13.30 MT, one minute, read. Masari CEO Ryan Selkis declared independence from the U.S. SEC and its corrupt chair Gary Gensler in a draft letter on Sunday. The firm intends to cease engagement with the agency until reforms are implemented and leadership is replaced, he said. We now treat the agency as a hostile adversary competitor and superfluous federal regulator, he said, and the letter posted to attend. The SEC didn't. Return Crypto News request for comment by a press time. Masari slams SEC's crypto approach. The SEC has been cracking down on the crypto industry, going beyond just companies that sell digital tokens. Under her chair, Gensler is tired of platforms, clearing services, and broker dealer activities. Since the increased scrutiny is expected to continue, and well funded crypto firms are pushing back, claiming the SEC is exceeding its legal power. Selkis said that Misari, a crypto data provider, has tried to work with the SEC, but he sharply criticized its approach. He argued the agency isn't effectively preventing fraud, pointing to missed cases like FTX and Celsius. Additionally, he claimed it's the SEC legal actions against Kenkai's Krakakran and Gemini seem politically motivated rather than focused on stopping actual fraud. Masari CEO calls for a regulatory reboot for crypto. Masari Selkis didn't stop at calling Chair Gansa ineffective. He also suggested that the regulatory chief might be corrupt. He called out Gensler's lack of clear rules for cryptocurrencies, especially how to define as security. This uncertainty, according to Selkis, is hindering the U.S. crypto market's growth. Further, the executive warned that the U.S. will fall behind in the global crypto race if it keeps relying on the SEC's current approach. He claimed regulators in Europe, the Middle East, and Asia are already way ahead in terms of creating clear rules for cryptocurrencies. The draft letter will soon be revised and sent to the SEC's commissioners as well as congressional representatives and senators. Follow us on Google News.